Hey there everyone, welcome to Softsource Classes. Um, so we are going to solve the statistics optional paper 1 of UPSC. Now first question in front of us is differentiate between prior and posterior distributions. In case of squared error loss function, find out the base estimator for unknown parameter, right? So let us first uh, discuss about the prior and posterior distributions, right? So what is prior distribution? Okay, so basically it represents the belief about unknown parameters before observing any data, right? And it can be based on what expert knowledge, historical uh, data or simply assumptions, okay? So often it is uh, coded as probability distribution function or probability uh, density uh, function. So let's write down the important points of prior distribution. Right? So prior distribution, as I said, belief belief about unknown parameters before observing any data. Second one, based on expert knowledge historical data or simple assumptions and often coded or encoded as probability density function or probability density uh, distribution function. So these are the points about prior distribution. What about the posterior distribution? So posterior distribution um, basically represents updated belief, right? Updated belief about the unknown parameter after observing the data. So this is about the before observing data and here it is about after observing the data. Second one is it takes into account the incorporated information from data through the likelihood function. And lastly, it is also encoded as PDF reflecting the revised uncertainty about the parameters value. Okay. Now, so if we uh, point out the key differences, source of information, right, that is what? One is about pre-knowledge, another one is uh, after getting the value. So, you know, prior knowledge with the observed data. Second one is on the nature, that is dynamic nature. What about this dynamic nature? So dynamic nature here, basically, um, here it means what? That prior means static, while posterior means updates dynamically as new data arrives. Okay. And the third one is about uncertainty, which we saw here, that is parameters value. number. So prior reflects initial uncertainty while posterior reflects revised uncertainty, right? Uncertainty. Hmm. 
Now, the most important part of the question that involves uh, estimation of the base <clears throat> estimator with the squared error loss. So here there are certain assumptions on which this is based. What are the assumptions? The assumptions are number one, a prior distribution P theta for unknown parameter theta. Second one is about the likelihood function. The likelihood function is what from P x given theta describing probability of observing data x given parameter theta. And lastly, squared error loss function. Which is what it can be written as L theta hat minus theta, which is function of theta hat minus theta is equals to theta hat minus theta whole square. So these are the assumptions. Now, let us write down the base estimator. We are trying to find out the estimator for theta that is the value that minimizes the expected squared error loss here, right? So, how can we write it? So, this is let us say the estimator it is written as minimum of theta hat integration over L theta theta into probability of theta given x d theta, right? So, now if we solve this, so first let me write down what is this. Where um, this is theta given x, which we have already decided that is the posterior distribution. All right. So this shows the distribution function here. And this is according to the Bayes theorem. This is what P theta given X is equals to probability X given theta into P of theta given the probability of X, right? So solving this minimization problem leads to the complex expression, right? For example, let us take if theta follows a normal distribution with prior mean m0 and uh, sigma 0 square as variance and the data x are independently identically distributed from another normal distribution then base estimator is theta hat base is equals to m0 into sigma hat square plus x into sigma 0 hat square divided by sigma hat square plus sigma 0 hat square. So, the specific 
form of base estimator depends on the chosen prior likelihood and loss function. that this point is to be remembered here.